The objective of this video is to show how to use the Excel solver to solve the two simultaneous nonlinear equations. The first equation comes from Manning equation, which is represented by F1. The second equation comes from the velocity constraint, which is represented by F2. And we developed a target function called F1 squared plus F2 squared. In order to develop the first equation dynamically, this is the first equation. We developed two cells, one for the B, the bed width, and the, other, the second one for the water depths, which are the two unknowns. And from these two unknowns, we calculated for the area, and uh, which is the area of the water depth. Then we calculated for the weighted perimeter. Then we calculated for the hydraulic radius. And eventually, we calculated for this function, which is the area multiplied by the hydraulic radius to the power 2 over 3. Then we calculated for the first function f1 and for the second function f2. So, actually, this row represents equation number 1, and this row represents equation number 2, and this is f1 and this is f2. And here we write down the target function which is this function now let us use excel solver to minimize this target function to zero but since we have a problem here a division divided by zero this means that we need to like start or to guess different values to to avoid this problem so i just put different value for b then let us use the solver now <coughs> So what is the target function? This is the target function. I needed to make it to zero by changing which cells, the B and Y together, and let us solve. By doing so, you will find that we have here uh, the value of B less than zero. So this is not acceptable uh, solution. So we need to solve again and to add some constraints to avoid this B to be less than zero let us add here a constraint and the constraint that i will add i will make that this b should be greater than or equal to the water depths and i believe this will solve the problem so by doing so let us solve again and here we got the right answer thank you